know I'm not really in the mood for Black Ops 3 today, so we're gonna go ahead, play some Battlefield 1 open beta. If you guys do not have this, make sure to get it, because Battlefield 1 is such a fun game. I'm pretty sure I haven't tried yet. I meant to say Battlefield is such a fun game. Hopefully this one is fun as well. Now guys, I think I, I may actually have an addiction with G Fuel. Like, I have so many G Fuels, and I'm not even sponsored by them or anything. I'm only sponsored by Control Freak. By the way, use code It's Nick for 10% off. I just, I just did that. All right, guys, Battlefield 1 is a piece of shit. Failed to connect to EA Online. Online features will be unavailable. Please try again. See blah, blah, blah for additional help and all that crap. Looks like we're playing Black Ops 3 today, guys. I actually didn't want to. I was really looking forward to playing Battlefield. Now, is it just me or whenever I open my PlayStation and I put a game on like uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield or something, my PlayStation 4 just sounds like a jet. It just goes like... And it's so damn loud and annoying. All right, guys, I'm about to get into the story right now about this kid who literally... Oh, my God. Anyways, he, he was so annoying. He tried to boot me offline and whatever the hell he was saying. Anyways... Smack the like button on this video guys if you do enjoy it now I'm gonna go on a little rant. You're gonna see me go on a little rant. So I guess that's kind of cool But anyways enjoy the video guys. Let's go for 2,000 likes on this one. Whoa Let's see how close I actually haven't played this game since my last video playing this actual game So let's see how close we are to the actual completed contract thing It's like I forget where to go because I haven't been on here for a while. All right. We have do we have the boxing gloves? We are very so damn close to getting the boxing gloves. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry guys for not helping. By the way, I have these right here. As you can see, I don't have them opened. I have guaranteed two melee weapons and guaranteed two ranged weapons. The reason I have these is because I already have every weapon in the game. But when the new weapons come out, if they ever do come out with new weapons, I'm guaranteed to get them. Right now with this right here, I am guaranteed to get the new weapons. So uh, that's pretty sick. Speaking of being offline, guys, this one kid literally threatened... To boot me offline if I didn't give him a shout out. Now, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the DMs in a second here on Twitter. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter, guys, make sure to actually do so because that's where everything goes down. I talk to people on Twitter for sure. So if you guys wanna talk to me, make sure to follow me on Twitter, hit me up with a message or something, and I'll definitely talk with you guys. That's where everything goes down. That's where everything happens. And that I reply to more people on Twitter than I do on, on the YouTube comment section. So definitely do that. Definitely do that. I'll have a link. It'll be the first link down in the description. All you gotta do is follow me. Get me closer to 3,000 followers, which is pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. All right. Time to read these DMs, guys. This kid, like, he got... I'll just... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let, let me... I can't even concentrate right now. I haven't played... I've been playing nothing but Rocket League. All right. So the first DM goes... I, I, I go to him. Okay, I'll tell you what happened before the DMs. He... I don't even know who he was. He just sent out a tweet and he added me in it. So... So that I could like see it right so he's like um he goes to me he's like hey it's nick is this yours and then there's a link so i'm looking at it and i'm thinking okay maybe maybe there's like somebody who's trying to steal my logo or something or i can't play for crap some maybe someone's trying to play my steal my logo maybe someone's trying to like do whatever right so i click the link and normally when i click links on uh twitter or something that <coughs> i don't know what the hell that was normally when i click oh my god when was this here Normally when I click links on Twitter or something, I make sure that I, uh, I get off my internet, like, right? Like, I disconnect from my internet on my phone, and I go on 3G. This way that if somebody does try to take my IP, they can't. It's, it's 3G. It's, it's literally, it's not my internet. And this isn't the only time I've done it, but this time, I didn't actually... If we kill him, if we... There we go. I didn't actually connect to 3G or anything, right? It was... Oh, Harden Sentry. It, it was my internet, so I clicked the link, then I noticed with the link that I actually clicked, he used Grabify to actually get my IP address. Now, for those of you who don't know what Grabify is, oh my, how did that go down so fast? For those of you who don't know what Grabify is, it's some it's a link that like somebody sends to you, and um, once you click it, it redirects you to a regular page, right? Like where something normal would happen. Uh, but in the background, Grabify is running so it could grab your IP address. I'm not sure if I explained that correctly, but that's pretty much, that. you get the gist of it, right? So, that happens. I click the link, it, it brings me to a normal page, but I noticed that the kid tried to use Grabify to get my IP address. So I sent him a DM, and, I, and all I wrote was the Grabify link. And then let's just hide here. He replies, what's wrong with it? Now I have your IP and can boot down your Wi-Fi. So now give me a shout out on your Twitter and tell people to follow me and be active. After you've done this, there is still new steps or your Wi-Fi 
is down. Normally, people would probably like start to panic and worry and be like, no, please don't take down my Wi-Fi. But I'm not a normal person. So that's not how I react. I actually got mad. I got really mad. To myself, I was like, first of all, this kid has no idea what the hell he's talking about because I don't give a shit if he takes down my Wi-Fi. Take down my Wi-Fi. I don't care. Literally speaking, all I use Wi-Fi on is my phone. That is it. That's literally all I use my Wi-Fi for. My, my computer is connected with the LAN cable. My PlayStation's connected with the same thing. And whatever else I have is connected with LAN as well. So take down my Wi-Fi. First of all, if you knew what you were talking about, you would just say you would you would boot me offline. You wouldn't say take down your Wi-Fi and sound like a complete moron. Oh, this kid, this kid got me mad. And uh, no, guys, I am not giving you his Twitter name or his twi Twitter handle as well because I don't want to give this guy anything. I don't want to, I don't want to get this guy not even one follower. Forget him. Anyways, after all that happens, right, I, I go... Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, that's not even the part that pissed me off. The part that pissed me off was like, and after you do that, there is still more steps or your Wi-Fi. What? The, who the hell do you think you are? You think you're a terrorist? Like, what the heck is this shit? No, kid. No, kid. You're not taking down my Wi-Fi. You're not. You, what? So anyways, I continue on and I write, I write this. Have fun. I'll just change my external IP. You're acting like you're the first person who tried this on me. And he replies with, I used to watch you, but I won't anymore. You are just a bitch. And I will dislike bot your videos. So now he's acting like like he's the victim or something, right? And my buddy IR and I, Maze Wolf, you guys know who he is. We were talking about this and it's like, dude, why are you acting like you're the victim? You literally came at me. I, I don't even know who you are. You came at me telling me you're going to boot me offline. And then you're gonna you're gonna hack me and whatever the hell you think you're gonna do, and then you then you act like you're the victim and I'm mean to you after you did that crap to who the hell do you think you are? That guy was alive. Okay. Anyways, so I go, I'm a bitch. You tried threatening me for a shout out. LOL. Please stop watching me. It'll make my channel that much better. I don't care what I say at this point, right? Like this kid, he got me mad. Like he got me mad. And then he goes. I just wish to get a shout out and grab your attention by this, but you don't care about smaller people, you selfish kid. What? What? I don't care about what? I am probably one of the only people my size who gives smaller people shout outs, who helps them, who talks with them and gives them all the advice because I was there, I know how it feels to be in that position. And you're acting like I was born with 200,000 fucking subscribers. You're acting like I was born with that and that I just got it out and no, I worked for it, man. Why would you threaten me to give you a shout out? Like, dude, I worked for this and I'm still helping other people out. So, s <sighs> Whew. then I go, why would I care about someone who tells me they, they will boot me offline unless I do something for them? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I give people shout outs, bro. You just went about it the wrong way and... My buddy Maze Wolf actually got mad at me for the way I replied to him here. He said I was being too nice to him. And yes, I was being too nice to the guy. I should have just completely roasted him for being the dumb ass that he is. Like, he threatens me to give him a shout out. I don't give it to him and I tell him that he's not going to boot me offline and he can do whatever the hell he thinks he's going to do because he can't do shit. And then he acts like I'm the one who's being mean to him. You threaten me. And then you act like, like, I, what? Anyways, here's the last thing he said before I blocked him. He's like, I wasn't going to boot anything. I can bot boot, but I won't boot you. Well, I think what he means to say is he wasn't going to do it. But buddy, if you go back to the first freaking DM you sent me, you said you were going to do it. And then you said there was more steps after I give you a shout out. Like, like, what, what do you expect? You expect me to give you a shout out? And then what's the, what's the more steps? Are you some terrorist? What the fuck is? No, this isn't a hostage situation. What? Oh, man. This is this kid, like this little keyboard warrior. Honestly, guys, though, that is what happened. I'm not going to share his name with you. I don't want to give this guy any attention whatsoever. Nothing at all. Screw this kid. It was pretty funny. Nonetheless, it's over with. I blocked him. I don't care if he tries to DM me. I don't care if he tries to whatever. It's over with. If I get booted offline, well, then that's his problem. I, I'm pretty sure he can't do it, to be honest. I, I'm pretty sure he won't be able to do it. So if you want to do a go ahead, boot my Wi-Fi offline. I got 3G on my phone and I'm freaking connected, buddy. So have fun. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, sorry for the rant a little. Actually, I'm not sorry. It was, I, I feel like once in a while videos like this are good because then you guys see like me for who I am. But then again, it's an angry video and that's not who I am. Whatever. Anyways, guys, I, I help smaller channels. I don't care what this kid says. He's not going to ruin my day. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed your first, second, third, six thousandth week of school. Whatever's going on. I, last video I made in the going back to school. So many of you guys left comments saying, oh, I've already been back for like three months. I, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. But anyways, guys, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Smack that like button if you did enjoy this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.